Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. It is the 28th of September. Yes, we're nearly into October. We are in full autumnal fall weather. Today I am currently recording my pumpkin spiced muffin recipe which will be up on the Gymshark blog in October. The one that is currently up on the Gymshark blog is my cottage pie recipe so if you're interested in seeing that go check it out. It is a lovely winter seasonal warmer that everyone will enjoy and yeah it's good for all the family. But today I'm trying to get back to it. As you know, I had my cervical colposcopy done just over a week ago. It kind of hit me a lot harder than I expected. I was very bloated, I wasn't feeling very well, and yeah, I've been feeling pretty sorry for myself. I've just been eating what I want. I've been binging a bit because I've been a bit down. I'm talking to you guys about it because I'm getting over it. I'm moving on. I've had my bad days. This is it. We're getting back to it. I got up, I did my hair, I did my makeup, recorded a recipe, the sun is shining even if it is cold. I've got these little munchkins here. Can you see them? Yeah, they're just sitting sunbathing. I've got a new bin. Life is good. So we're not going to focus on the negativity, we're not going to focus on waiting for results, anything like that. We're just going to get back to it because life is good. I'm healthy, I'm happy. I have a lovely husband and I'm making muffins. So today, um, as I said, I'm making my muffins. Oh, I'm getting through that. I'm wearing this nice little Gymshark vest, which was in my last video, which was a try on video haul of what's coming out and what is already available on Gymshark. And if you haven't watched that and you fancy buying something from Gymshark and you don't know what to buy, go and check out that video because it goes through all my leggings and this top and loads of other stuff. So, as you can see, the fringe has been grown out. It's getting there. It's still kind of there, but not. We have it to the side. Because it was too much work, guys. The chronicles of the fringe are over now. Um, I've been up since about eight. Right now it is 10.40, so in the past two hours and 40 minutes, I have showered, I have fed my dogs, I have made muffins and recorded it. So, yeah, that's my little setup there. You can get one of these stands if you're interested in making food videos because it has to be over like that. And um, you can get it on Amazon, that's where I got mine. And now I'm gonna put my muffins in the oven and walk the dogs because they've been very good dogs, very patient. And I have something exciting to tell you guys as well. No, I'm not releasing a booty plan. No, I'm not doing anything like that, no. Dex and I have found a new house. We had actually put in an offer on a house to buy and that didn't go through. So now, because we just wanna move, we just wanna move from Blackburn, we want to move a little bit further south, we wanna move closer to Birmingham, where a lot of our friends are, and just be more commutable to more things. So we have been looking in the whole radius of Birmingham and that kind of area, Shropshire, um, Worcestershire, all that kind of area and we have finally found a house it is a rental again because we could not get a mortgage at this time and it's been a stressful time it's been stressful guys and I've had to keep it all in but we have found a house and it is our house and we are moving in three weeks three weeks is move day we are moving to Shropshire yes it is very quintessential English area it is about 15 minutes from Shrewsbury and I'm very excited to move there and have a fresh start on a new house. I went to see the house, I love the house, it's a big house, it has a lovely kitchen, so loads of lovely recipes coming and the doggies will be really happy, there's a decent sized garden, loads of places to walk the dogs. We're all happy and we are moving in three weeks, three weeks till move day. In from walking the dogs I just did a 20 minute walk with them I like to keep my heart rate elevated as I'm walking I don't let them slow down too much as I'm walking because I want to use it as a form of cardio rather than a relaxing walk I don't bring my phone I don't bring my camera I don't bring anything with me I just like to kind of detach from my life as I 
go on this walk, kind of get my thoughts together. That's why I go first thing in the morning and in the evening after they've had their breakfast. I feel like my arms are jiggling a lot. Bingo wings. And I've just taken these bad boys out of the oven. They look really good. So I'm just going to film the rest of that recipe now and then I will continue on with my day. Um, I have to do some cardio. Then I'm going to hit up the gym today. I am doing some abductor work, some quads maybe, and some calves and abs. Bit mixture of a bit of everything. And yeah, that's my day. I'll keep you updated as I go. I'm gonna have one of these pumpkin spice muffins with my coffee, because I haven't had that yet. I haven't had my collagen coffee. And I'm gonna wake up Lex, because it's after 11 now. He did, he was in Manchester working yesterday and he had a long day. So I think I let him have a little bit of a sleep in. But past 11, you know, pushing it, pushing it, Mr. Griffin. So I've completed my recipe. This is what the little stage for my muffins is like to try and get some nice photos behind the scenes action there on my recipe. So I'm gonna make Lex a coffee, wake him up and make myself my decaf collagen coffee. Um, I use this collagen hydrolysate, which I get on Amazon. Just pick it up on Amazon. Not that expensive. It doesn't taste like anything. You cannot taste it in your coffee and collagen is good for you. So just do it. So I'm making an attempt at making Lex some shakshuka. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's pretty much poaching the eggs in like a spicy tomato base. It looks pretty. So there you have three poached eggs and then there's feta and tomatoes and it just looks really pretty. You're meant to use one of those cast iron frying pans but I don't have one. And then I've got some of the little bash pittas on the side to you know, dippy whippy in. To your dippy whippy eggs. There's no bit left. Are you enjoying it? It's very good. <coughs> it's in shampoo. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Different? Yeah, it's like spicy but breakfasty. It's just good. Mm. You gotta try it. And it's a great way of getting three eggs into it that doesn't taste like suck ass boiled eggs. Mmm! Breakfast time, we have some protein oats with some dark chocolate chips, first caffeinated coffee with some Calafia Farms, didn't use that, have some of that in my coffee and have some of that on my oats, yummy. Just after 3pm and I've done my cardio, I am now going to have pre-workout coffee and I've made this for Bailey because she likes the cream. So I've made a little puppuccino for Bailey. Lex is on the fatty fat fat bomb coffee. So there's 20 grams of coconut oil and then topped with some of the cool whip. Cool whip. It's the light one. And that's my coffee. And I'm going to add in this steamed oat milk. And that's about 60 grams. Yum. PM and I am snacking on chicken on a stick. Get them from muscle food. Hmm, that's really, really good. Kind of forget how tasty they are. And convenient. Okay, gym time.
potential Draw your life how you want without a stencil Take a trip with me, no, I'll make you feel special Cause now that you're joining my team See how your life it could be Now that you know you're with me Long live the king and the queen Lean on your body on me Lean on your body on me Girl, lean on your body on me Lean on your body on me It's 7 p.m. I've been in from the gym for a while. I've walked the dogs, I've fed them. I've made a cottage pie for Lex. I actually did them in little individual portions. Ooh, handy. Um, and Lex has just gone to the gym. So I've got dinner. I was about to say breakfast. I've got dinner in the oven and I'm just having some chicken, some butternut squash, squaffles and uh, some veggies just keeping it really simple trying to get back on track but i like to keep my food pretty plain just to try and get myself back to myself does that even make sense but i'm just gonna finish cooking that we are in the middle of watching the bodyguard the bbc series which is amazing so we're planning on just watching the entire rest of the series we've got three more episodes if you haven't watched it it's so good it's like a drama and it's just addictive it's on the bbc player um so we're just planning on doing that for the evening and then tomorrow is saturday and it's the weekend so we'll do something fun then we have dinner we've got the butternut squash waffles we've got some of these padron peppers that taste amazing when you oven bake them we've got some baby leeks that i've just chopped up and baked and under here we have some asparagus and some chicken breasts that I just lightly marinated. That's them there. Some leftovers for tomorrow. Essential. I am the queen of leftovers. My fridge is always packed full just for emergencies so that when I get in and I'm tired, there's no excuses. It's just like meal prep. So don't be afraid to make extra and put it away in the Tupperware. I know when I lived on my own, sometimes I'd make two portions and eat them all because I'm a glutton. But I'm being good. I'm weighing out all my food. We're back on it, back on track. The question is though, does it fix instant leg doms? You know what you shouldn't do? Is run for three weeks and not do squats. Oh, you're gonna be so sore. <laughs> Hi. Oh. See you later. Hi. Bailey, come back here. Bailey. Bailey. What, what do you want to tell people? Hello. I am the Bailey. <laughs> I am the French one. Um, if you do like the video, give the thumb up and uh, send biscuits. Peace. Because if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner. Talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy all the parents. Ain't nobody paying. Oh.